Yes, we can. We can squeeze in a phone call. We're going to Macon, Georgia. Jack, I'm glad you waited. You're next. It's uh, great to have you here. Hi. Mega Ditto's Rush. Thank you. Um, so I think in this whole gun debate, guns, uh, uh, um, Trump's just beating them at their own game. Uh, much like the tax debate, you know, he te- televised it and said, hey, we'll do whatever we want and put it all together. And then in the end, he got what he wanted. Um, he's just brilliantly maneuvering. He sees that 70 percent of Americans want more gun control. Um, and he's giving the masses kind of what they want, the Democrats what they want. You saw whatever Amy, whatever the senator was. Wait, 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 wait. 70 percent of Americans want gun control? Want more gun control was the last statistic. I think I heard you say several years ago, uh, several days ago. And Trump is going to give it to him. Uh, he's, uh, I think he's playing, playing at their game. He's saying what he needs to say to placate people. Um, and, and I don't, think, I don't know, think he necessarily meant that he wanted to confiscate guns before some kind of a hearing. You know, okay. Official hearing. Okay, I got it. Okay, so here's the way it works. Trump knows that 70 percent of the American people want gun control, but there's no way Trump's going to do that. But he's going to make them think so. So calls a meeting with the Democrats, most extreme liberal Democrats he can find, bring them up there, and promise to give them whatever they want. American people see it. Yay, gun control! But then they stop thinking about it. And when no gun control of any significance happens, nobody really knows. And Trump once again has brilliantly defeated. The Democrats. I don't know why I didn't see that. Thank God for callers. Some days they save the show. There's no question about it.